Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the Clan Nova Cat faction store found in Battletech. Of course this is Battletech Advance 3062 and at this point the faction store is a little bit out of date because I'm continuing a campaign that I started before some changes were made in updates I believe uh, version 14. So this is of course late version 13. There will be a couple differences mostly in, well, I guess maybe not in the clan store which doesn't seem to sell pieces, but let's go ahead and jump in. The Clan Nova Cat Faction Store is one of the only places where you can buy a comprehensive or relatively comprehensive list of clan technology and max without having to, well, fight them and scavenge them yourself. So taking a look category by category, we have a limited selection of ballistics, and this will sort of ring true throughout the rest of the armaments as well. Ultra AC2s and 5s, LBX AC2s and 5s, clan variants, but not the heavier autocannon 10s and 20s. Uh, as we go over to the energy weapons, we have ER large lasers, ER medium lasers, ER PPCs, but no clan pulses, nothing like that. So a good sub-selection. I, of course, do love ER medium lasers and will probably pick up a couple of these clan ones. Although I think I have a couple. Well, I have two. Oh, literally a couple. <laughs> oh, well. And as we get to missiles, this is really it's sort of more of the same. LRM-5s, LRM-10s, SRM-2s, and 4s. But no LRM-15s or 20s, no SRM-6s. That's particularly bad because, well, SRM-6s, particularly clan SRM-6s, that way 1.5 tons are devastatingly effective, although clan SRM-4s still offer some improvement over the standard deal. You will have reduced range with this. That is something definitely to watch out for. You need to, you need to put these on a very, very fast Mac in order to make good use of them. And as we get to support, we do have a, an assortment of battle armor weapons, VA, uh, VA Avengers, ER Small Lasers, Flamers, Inferno SRM-1s, etc. Uh, the Avenger is sort of an interesting thing. It is actually weightless, which allows it to be put onto the elemental design we'll see in just a minute. Basically for free, it does just take a crit slot, and one damage, one stability, one heat means that this is, well, a dedicated crit seeker, because it won't be doing enough damage to bore through anything anytime soon. Uh, we also do have ER small lasers and clan machine guns on offer as well. For 0.25 tons, clan machine guns may actually offer a decent solution to people who want that little bit of extra damage, have a couple extra slots, but you seem to find regular MGs as a little bit too heavy. Moving on to the ammunition, well, that's the whole ammunition tab, so you're going to have to pick up your ammunition elsewhere. It's really not too big of an issue though because uh, clan weaponry like the uh, clan autocannons and clan missiles do stand still use standard SRM or autocannon ammunition. Moving on to equipment, the selection is rather scarce. We do have contract for Novacat airdrop, which is the clan Novacat uh, custom mech, I suppose, as well as a permanent contract for a clan elemental. Now the thing to note is the Novacat contract is one-time use only. So you can drop it in for 150,000 seabills, you can buy unlimited numbers of these, and you'll get a little bit of support on every drop, but it will not be a one and done. The elemental airdrop, on the other hand, is permanent. You have to buy this exactly once, at which point you will be able to call in a clan elemental any mission you darn well please. Moving on to the mech selection, there's really, well, I'd say four main components here. The first two are battle armor, so we have the elemental and the salamander. And the next two are the variants of Nova Cats and Vision Quest Full Scale Max. So to take a look at the Elemental, this of course is, as it says in the description, the suit that started it all. Well, arguably anyway. And it comes outfitted each each unit, of course there are four in each squad, uh, with an ER Small Laser, an SRM-2, and an Avenger. This makes it punch a little bit lighter than the Phalanx Battle Armor suits that we have been using on the channel. But it does make it distinctly different from the Salamander, Salamander Battle Armor design, which does carry a Battle Claw as well as an Inferno SRM-1 and two Flamers on each. This is particularly devastating because all put together you can deal up to 40 heat damage off a single salvo from the Clan Salamanders, which, well, that's quite toasty. Now we do get into, I want to do the Vision Quests first I think, these are 60 ton uh, medium mechs. So, not quite into the heavy category as of yet. Or actually, oh, yes, just barely into the heavy category. <laughs> uh, I always think I'll make a mistake, and then, well, today I did. So the Vision Quests are barely into the heavy category. Well, they all come with Clan Endo Steel, but there's actually a mix of Inner Sphere and Clan technology in here, particularly the 1S does feature a full 
inner sphere armaments with the mild exception of an improved Gauss rifle that is technically not clan weaponry, but also technically not not clan weaponry. It's a little bit sort of an intermediate type thing and will perform a little bit better. I think it's one ton less and has some additional accuracy perks over standard Gauss rifles. Then you have the more traditional, like the 1NC, which also carries an improved Gauss, but does feature clan tech in a trio of medium pulse lasers and a uh, pair of ER larges. The 2NC trades that off for ER smalls, two ER larges, and an actual true clan gas rifle. Uh, and then finally, the 3NC does carry an Ultra AC-20 for that close range punch. It maintains the trio of medium pulses and the pair of ER larges. Now, the mech that I prefer and use extensively in our last campaign here on the channel is actually the Nova Cat, just because I love that design. It's absolutely gorgeous, and many of the configurations are quite deadly. So, for example, the Prime configuration carries in one arm three ER larges, and in the other arm double ER PPCs. This makes it absolutely devastating at long and mid ranges, because keep in mind the clan ER larges 700 meters is long range, but it is not exactly extreme. So these things can get a little toasty, but look at all of that energy boat punch. And all of it, of course, completely disconnected from ammunition requirements and limitations. The Novacat D configuration trades that out for heavy large lasers. These are, of course, much higher punch, but you do lose a little bit of accuracy, which makes them a tad harder to field effectively. I uh, do also have an LBX AC-10 for a little bit more reliable support. Novacat C configuration uses double L large pulses but also trades for a ballistic armament featuring double Ultra AC-5 and an LBX AC-5 that honestly, I'd probably switch out for another clan Ultra AC-5 just to increase the amount of firepower ever so slightly. Now the LBX AC-5 does have some benefits to it, namely much higher range, and it looks like a slightly increased recoil, which is not really great, um, but it is just a different style of AC-5. I will personally switch that out. And then you're firing six AC-5 shells per alpha strike, which is just kind of fun. But you do, of course, lose the flexibility of slug versus cluster rounds, and the cluster rounds are quite good for exploiting crits. Now the Novacat B configuration is really sort of the one that's farthest out there. We do carry three LRM-15s in each arm, as well as an ER medium laser, I believe, in the center torso. Well, maybe two? Well, side torsos then. LT and RT. Yep. Double ER medium laser six individual LRM-15s, which is truly devastating. That's LRM-90 on this mech. It can be quite effective. Keep in mind, too, since they are standard LRMs, you can put in more advanced or just different ammunition types. So there is some flexibility there as well. And that's particularly expanded on just with the sheer number of tons of ammunition that you will need to keep this thing firing throughout an entire engagement. Of course, a bit of a drawback there, but no, fair enough. Novcat A configuration is... Well, I don't know. I think it's a little bit less doubling down on some of the things that make the Nova Cat special. You carry two ER large lasers in one arm and two ER large lasers in the other, as well as a medium pulse laser in, in the right torso. I thought that was symmetrical, but it appears not to be. Anyway, standard clan armor is sort of the reason for this. You could, if you so chose, put that out for ferrofibrous, although I'm not sure. It might be might be exchangeable, might not be. I would have to buy it, of course, to take a look, and I can't quite do that right now. But, uh, I don't know, I think it's a little bit less unique than either the Prime configuration or the Heavy Large Lizard configuration. That is the sum total of the Clan Novacat Faction Store. I hope you find this helpful. There might be minor changes on your version of Battletech like Advance 362, but the gist of it should still be the same. So, thank you all for hanging around. That's all we've got for today, but we'll see you again real soon.